Here we go, everyone. It's time to roll up the sleeves. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. So you might know this, but one of the uh, videos that we made that had, I think it has the most views, um, was on the question of, can I get a tattoo? Or should I get a tattoo? Or something like that. Something about tattoos. And in that video, kind of talked about how in the Old Testament, in the book of Leviticus, in the book of Leviticus chapter 19, it says, don't get tattoos. Don't mark your body. Don't cut up your body. That's good. And that's in the Bible. We also talked about how and why in the New Covenant that would no longer be applicable to those in the Covenant. If your tattoos mean that you're consecrating yourself to something other than God, then yeah, don't do that. If your tattoos mean that you're consecrating yourself for the dead or to the dead, then yes, don't do that. But if they don't mean that, I would say there isn't a prohibition specifically or explicitly against any and all kind of tattoos. I also talked about how there are some reasons to avoid a tattoo. It's number one. Um, if, if they're an, of an evil thing. So it's something that would be satanic, something that would be, um, what's the word? Lewd would be, would, lewd would be the right word. I say crude, lewd or crude. Um, don't do that. Um, secondly, if you find yourself getting tattoos because you hate yourself, you know, and you want to kind of punish yourself, you don't like the way your body looks, and so you want to kind of cover that kind of stuff up, um, that might be, a, that should maybe should give someone pause. The third thing would be <laughs> just doing it um, indiscriminately. And so I had, the recommendation, I had the suggestion that if you want to get a tattoo, get that, whatever that image is, imprinted on a piece of wood t-shirt, or actually on seven t-shirts, and wear that under, as an undershirt every single day. And if after a year of wearing that same image every single day, you want that tattooed on your body, then that is a good sign that that's gonna be an image that lasts. If after a year you're like, oh man, I am bored of this image, then now you know, you just dodged a bullet and you don't have that permanently imprinted on your body. Now. I've always wanted to get tattoos. I, as of yet, have zero. Now that we've summed up that old video, let me tell you a tale. Here's the tale. Not too long ago, I was in the city of Jerusalem, in fact, the old city of Jerusalem. Um, now, when I made that video on tattoos, I mean, gosh, I'm like 100 years old right now, and I'd already concluded, like, you know, there's not really ever a moment um, in my life where I need a tattoo. I don't really want to get a tattoo. In fact, the only time I've ever quoted uh, Kim Kardashian is when she was asked why she didn't have a tattoo and she said, you don't put a bumper sticker on a Bentley. Like, okay, great. And so, yeah, I don't need one, don't want one. And then about five years ago, maybe four years ago, I read an article uh, and the article was about this place in Jerusalem and it is the world's oldest tattoo parlor. And it dates back to the 1300s. It's called Razuk Tattoos and uh, it dates back 700 years. There are 29 generations of tattooists, I guess, who have specialized in giving tattoos to pilgrims to the Holy Land. And in the article, there was an image of a tattoo that had the Jerusalem cross on it, which is a big cross, and then four crosses in each corner of the cross, and then the letters IHS that were underneath it. IHS is the Latinate form of the name Jesus. And also, someone could say IHS is Iusus Omnum Salvator, Jesus, Savior of Mankind, but truly what it comes down to is just the name of Jesus. So it's a Jerusalem cross with Iusus, the name of Jesus underneath it in Latin. And I thought, okay, well, if I ever get to Jerusalem um, and, I'm, and I'm close by, if I ever get a tattoo, that's the one I'm going to get. So that was about four years ago, four or five years ago. And uh, so a couple weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago now, I found myself in the old city of Jerusalem. And uh, I was like, oh, this, this tattoo place, Razuk, is a block from where we were staying. And so one day, one afternoon, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to walk in and see if they have any room. I walked in and they said, hello. And I said, do you have any room? And they said, yeah, sit down. What do you want? And I said, this thing. And it was that tattoo. Here it is. I'll show it to you right now. It is uh, this. There it is. This IHS with the Jerusalem cross. That cross stands for either Jesus and then uh, the North the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, or it could be Jerusalem and then North, South, East, and West. Basically, the gospel has gone out to the whole world and the name of Jesus. So, got the tattoo. One of the reasons I knew that I kind of followed my own advice, as I didn't just wait one year. I didn't put it on a piece of wood, okay? So you got me on that one. But I waited about four or five years and I didn't rush out to get it. The way I knew that like, okay, I'm not doing something wrong, because that was the thing. Like, is it right to get a tattoo? Well, it's not right, but could it be wrong? Yeah, it could be wrong. The way I knew that I wasn't doing something wrong was I wasn't happy that I got it. Let me explain. <laughs> I think, I've talked to people and I've listened to people talk about, you know, yes, there are some people who want to punish themselves and maybe cover up their body. They don't like how their body looks and so they get a tattoo to either punish or, you know, cover up. 
others have said, I get a tattoo because it makes me happy. I, I like myself in tattoos. I, I feel I'm prettier or whatever the thing is, or more handsome, I don't know, more dangerous looking. That's fine, that's good. But when I chose this, I was choosing it for a purpose. And that purpose wasn't to make me happy. In fact, I, 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 there was no, you know, sometimes you buy something and you have that like buyer's like excitement and then you have the crash or the buyer's remorse or like you, you know, you do that thing and it's like, I'm so, this is awesome. And then you have that let down afterwards. I was, I was confirmed in this choice when there was no crash because there was no upsurge, right? There was no, no dip because there was no flip. <laughs> I don't know what people say. And I was like, oh yeah, there's no spike, right? So there's no drop because I didn't choose it to make me happy. I thought, you know what I want? Um, I love Israel. I love the Holy Land. I love going back to that place where Jesus has walked. The, the, the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Um, I love the old city of Jerusalem. I love the fact that Scripture, like all these stories of God being involved in our lives, happened there. And now it happens here, right? To the four corners of the world. I love the fact that here's Jesus and then the, you have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John bringing that message of Christ to the whole world. I love having, I love the name of Jesus. And so something in me was like, you know what? When it comes down to it, I want that to be indelible. Like, right? I want it to be in a way that I can't take off. So I didn't do it like to be happy. I did it because there's something obviously permanent, right? What are the reasons why a, a husband and wife make a vow to each other? They could just keep loving each other, but there is something about the vow, something about the ring, right? That, that says, not just today, but forever. The same thing is true with the sacraments. The sacraments, many of them, leave an indelible mark on us. It's not just, a, it's not just, not just gosh, it's not just a sign that we professed our faith. It's a sign that actually does something, right? It changes us inside. You know what I want? I want to not ever be able to take off Jesus. Yeah, that was it. I, got, I want to never be able to take off Jesus. I love this ring. This ring says you're a priest forever. I love it because I never, I take it off, but I also get to put it back on. That's a reminder whenever I put it on, like, yes, I'm a priest. I want to always be a priest. But there's something, something about this that just, yeah, it was just like, I never ever, no matter what, ever want to take off Jesus. You know, if you're baptized, you've been clothed in Christ and you can't take him off. Same, same with me. I've been clothed in Christ in my baptism and I can't take him off if, even if I wanted to. But there was some kind of expression of that. I guess, you know, now it's, now it's on my arm. And uh, I guess that's that. Um, one really cool thing is whenever someone asks, like, what does that say? What does that mean? I get to tell them about the cross. But then I also get to say, and this is the name of Jesus. I can't tell you how it's wonderful to be able to talk with you all about Jesus, talk with our students about Jesus, to talk with, with um, the people who come to seek me out about Jesus. But it's another thing to talk to strangers and be able to say the name of Jesus to them. This means, this stands for the name of Jesus. And just to see that something in the air changes when you say the name of Jesus. And, uh, this has afforded that opportunity. Again, I didn't do it because it made me happy. It hasn't made me happy, not, hasn't made my life one little bit better. But one thing it has done is it reminds me every day that I will never be able to and never want to, please God, take off Jesus, take off Christ, and not be a, a son of the Father. It also gives me the opportunity, more often than not, to be able to say in public and out loud to perfect strangers the name of Jesus. Anyways, Maybe you, maybe you think it's cool. Maybe you think it's lame. By the way, I'm almost 50. And so, like, my life's almost over. So, it, I'm not like a 20-year-old getting a tattoo. Like, no, I'm almost dead anyways. So, like, you know, it doesn't really matter. Just kidding. That's what I was telling myself. Is that too dark? Is that too dark? I apologize for that. Anyways, for all of us here to Touch Presents, my name's Father Mike. God bless. Also, in the comments, let me know. Maybe you like it. Maybe you don't like it. Um, maybe you think it's silly. Maybe you think it's like, uh, wait, maybe is it like a midlife crisis? <laughs> I hope not. I'm way past the middle of my life. God bless.